Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of the Arsenal career mode. And we've got Crystal Palace. Now normally I'd be saying, well, it's no big deal. But look at the bottom right corner. They're in third place right now. And they've got a game in hand on Manchester United. They've made a really good start to the season. So this is actually a pretty big game. So let's get into it. We're at home. Let's get the three points. Also, guys, if you're looking to get yourself a custom controller, just like this beauty here, I absolutely love it. Please do check out the link in the description for controller mods. And actually, they recently made a controller for Meza Ozil's birthday. Have a look at the images on screen right now. It looks incredible. So if you want to build your own controller, the link is below. Now let's get into the game. So today we have Oxlade Chamberlain coming in on that right side. He's now 82 rated. And also, Rob Holding comes in at centre back because, of course, Mustafi got a red card in the last Premier League game and it wasn't the best challenge so he's suspended for this match. Let's have a look at the Crystal Palace team. They have gone with Ben Teke up front with Sigurdsson behind him. Townsend and Zaha on the wings. Very decent. Kabai in the middle as well. It is a strong team. I can see why they are doing well and are near the top of the table but we can't have that. We need to overtake them today. Come on. Here come Crystal Palace on the attack. I haven't been able to win the ball there and they've passed it back to Townsend. This is a very good break from Crystal Palace. But Oxlade Chamberlain, brilliant tackle, does his defensive duties very well indeed. And now Ozil up here to Griezmann. Through for Sanchez, who's playing really well at the moment. Going around the side, he's powering through here. We'll try and cut it back on his right foot. Get the cross in, Griezmann's there. No, Tomkins just about stopped the ball going to Griezmann. That was 1-0 right there. Here's Ozil again, onto his left side. Can I pick out a pass maybe? We can, here's Xhaka, hit it. Oh, what a strike. Granite Xhaka. That is unbelievable. We've scored some brilliant goals over the last four or five games. Lots of goals like this outside of the box. And that is one hell of a strike. In off the post as well. No chance for the keeper. And that's his first goal of the season, I believe. So there we go. 1-0 up. 23 minutes in. Here's Verratti. Into Ozil. Quick 1-2 maybe. Over the top. Oh. Oh. Oh, no. Off the post. That would have been special. That really would have been such a nice goal for Meza Ozil. We're playing some fantastic football. Crystal Palace don't know what to do. They're completely getting destroyed right now. Into Griezmann. No space. Pass it back. Meza Ozil's there again, but the chance is gone. Oh my god. We should be three, maybe even four nil up at this point. But there is half time, guys. There's plenty more time to score more goals in this game. Let's get into the second half. Here come Crystal Palace, though. Benteke. Turns, Xhaka gets the block in, but Bellerin's deflected it to Townsend. And now Sigurdsson's on the ball. Benteke heads it. <sighs> that was close. Big save from Petacek once again. Yes, Verratti. What a tackle. Flick it on. Meza Ozil should be through here. Finesse it. There's the second goal that we deserve. Meza Ozil is a magician. Verratti wins the tackle. Griezmann gets the assist, although he didn't have to do much. That is a beautiful finesse shot right into that top left corner. And that should be the three points in the bag. And it really should be more than just 2-0. Oh no, Holdings missed it. And there goes the clean sheet. What? How has he missed? Oh my god, we got very lucky there. Just three minutes of added time. I really do want the clean sheet. Oh no, Zaha's doing work here. Oh, Koscielny. Koscielny, fantastic defending. That should be the end of the game. And that should be three points. There you go. Fantastic performance. We really should have scored more goals. But I can't complain. A 2-0 win against a team that's in the top four. Well played. Okay, this is just hilarious. So Lewis Evans, our young player, our future star, has uh, said he wants a better contract. And he only wants £550 per week. And that's just ridiculous. Some of my younger players who aren't even as high rated as him are on more money. Oh, it just makes me laugh. We're going to go ahead and give him £925 per week. And he's going to get sporadic first team player. It's a big upgrade, mate. You better take it. So before we get into our next game, I can confirm that he just signed the contract. So uh, Evans is staying with the club, that's for sure. But also, have a look at some of the ratings in this team. Griezmann is now 90 rated. Jacques has gone up to 87. Bellerin's up to 84. Mustafi's up to 86. Ramsey's 86, Oxlade's up to 82. We're getting some serious growth on our players here. Wilsh is 85. It's unbelievable. Look at this team. It is so, so strong. I think I'm going to put Sidibe into some training to 
maybe speed things up a little bit because he's the lowest rated in our first team by quite far. The only bad news, guys, is Czech has gone down to 86 now. So if, and I mean if we decide to do a third season, which is looking unlikely at this moment, we would definitely have to invest in a goalkeeper. But anyway, it's good to see that the team is doing well. As you can see in the bottom right corner, we've climbed up to second place above Newcastle and Watford on goal difference. So we've got Watford now. It's yet another really important game early on in the season. We need to get ourselves a win away from home. I feel like Watford are one of those teams. They could really, really surprise you. They've got a very strong forward. They've got Igalo and Okaka there. I don't know where Dini is. Maybe they sold him. I'm not sure. But overall, it's a very, very good, very well-balanced squad. So uh, who knows how this is going to go down. I've gone with my strongest team possible just so I can make sure we do get the three points and catch up with top of the league. But we haven't made a good start here. Oh, luckily, Igalo's not going to be able to get there. Bellerin clears it nicely. Now let's get on the break down this right side. Through for Mares. What a ball that is from Bellerin. Now inside to Griezmann. Now through for Bellerin. Oh my god, what a goal this could be. Ozil's through. And what a save from Pantillamon. The six foot seven giant has stopped a certain goal. We got lucky with the pass, to be honest. But that finish just isn't good enough. Maybe I should have finessed it. But now we're going to go back post. Try and get a good delivery in. And head it back in. Go on, Koscielny's there. And another rebound. No, nope, cleared away. Here's Jan Matt down this right side. He's going to go for the cross. Once again, we're able to clear it, but it's not a very good clearance. Pereira's giving it away. No, he's got it back. But Xhaka wins the tackle. Now we break. Come on, Meza Ozil. Pass that over to the left side here for Alexis Sanchez. Back in for Ozil. Turn. Oh, it's a foul. That is a cynical foul. He knew what he was doing. That's going to be a yellow card. Two minutes added on. Just don't concede before half time, please don't. Got to say, I'm really struggling playing against two strikers. But um, we've got away with that one. Watford looked really good, I'm not going to lie. But we have been playing quite nicely. We've got some chances from this game. Maybe should have put one or two away. But they could have easily scored as well. So I'd say 0-0 is pretty fair. Here's Mares now. Going to go for the cross, actually. Griezmann's there. He actually won that header. Again, that was a really good chance to go 1-0 up early on in the second half. Come on, Bellerin. Let's go. Let's go. Don't let him stop you. Right, we're going to pass that over here to Alexis Sanchez. Over here for Griezmann. Back to Alexis Sanchez. Finish it. Go on. Oh, that is not a very good strike with his left foot. Here we go again. This time going down the left side. Alexis still going. He's still going. Go on, Ozil. Yep, he's through. Surely now we're going to score. Are you kidding me? Now. Come on. What is wrong with me? I can't score. Oh, no. No. Don't. Don't lose it now. No way. They just counter-attacked me. They've done what Arsenal do against me. And we're 1-0 down with 15 minutes to go. If I score now, I've got a really good chance of turning this around. Come on. Still going, Ozil. Through for Verratti. Hit it. Get in there. We're back in the game instantly, guys. And we've still got time to get that second goal. I don't deserve to lose this. I don't even deserve to draw this. We've got to win. I'm going to make three changes just to make sure this happens. Ozil, Mares, and Xhaka going off. Coquelin, Iwobi and Oxlade Chamberlain coming on. Ten minutes to go. Here we go. Come on, this is the moment. Sidibe into Alexis Sanchez. Over for Oxlade Chamberlain maybe. I'm going to have to win the header. Oh no, but it's come back out here to Bellerin. We've still got a time. Come on, please. This would be a massive, massive win if I can get a goal here. Inside here to Griezmann. Through for Iwobi. He's not going to get there. Come on, there's still time. Win that header, Oxlade. Oh, shit. I think that's going to be it. Damn it. Okay, we get the draw. It wasn't what we wanted. It wasn't what we deserved. But I played really, really well. So I'm not going to be too upset about that. Watford are in the top four for a reason. They're a solid team. But now, guys, into the next Champions League game. We've got Porto, who have won both their games so far. So if we can win this, we will go top of our group. And we'll be looking good to progress into the next round in first place that would mean we could potentially get an easier team which is definitely something i would like there you can see the table galatasaray yet to win sevilla yet to win although sevilla i think they're a team that could easily turn it around so who knows what's going to happen player to watch griezmann he has done very well since joining let's take a look at the lineups then as you can see i've gone with a very similar team but ramsey does come in and so does Oxlade Chamberlain. Urzel also taking a bit of a rest. He gets tired very quickly because his stamina is relatively low. Mares will be playing at camp instead. And he's done very well there. 
whenever he's played. Let's have a look at this team then. So they've got Oliver Torres in there. They've got Brahimi out on that left wing. Very, very dangerous player. Pereira in the heart of midfield. Martins Indy at centre-back. Leon at left-back. It is a good team, but we've got the better team. We should be winning this game, especially because we're at home as well. Oh, that's a dangerous cross. Oh, my God. No, 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 no. We're all falling over each other. <sighs> Dodgy defending there. Here come Porto again. They're looking very good early on in this game, but Mustafi's done brilliantly well to tackle him. Well played, sir. Looks like we've picked up an injury to Bellerin. That could be very, very bad news, but we've won the ball. I need to focus for now. Pass that back here to Ramsey. Over for Oxlade Chamberlain. Now somehow I need to get around. That's not going to work. I'm just going to have to pass it around a little bit. Be patient. Oh, that's lucky. Bellerin's got up. He seems to be okay. But he wasn't able to keep the ball there. Let's go, Ramsey. Let's go. Oh, what a run. What a run this is. Can he score another wonder goal? No, he can't. Casillas pulls off a great save. Could have been a goal either, either side in the last few minutes. Now let's get the corner in. It's a good ball, but the keeper's always going to catch that two minutes until half time. And I think that's probably the end of this first half, unless we can win it here. No, we're in trouble. Here's Oliver Torres. Nope. Thankfully, the referee saved us there by blowing his whistle. Good turn, Griezmann. Up here to Oxlade Chamberlain, straight away on the inside. Going for it. Through ball. Jacques through. No, the pass was just slightly overhit. At the moment, this game has draw written all over it, but things can change very quickly like this. Come on, Mares. Give it to Sanchez. Hit it, Sanchez. That's a penalty. Get in there. We've got ourselves a penalty. And I'm not going to miss this one. I've missed a lot of penalties this season. Not this time. Alexis Sanchez it is. We're going to try and put some power into this. And I've scored. That was a rubbish penalty. I need to work on my penalties. Luckily, that's gone in. Now, just to make sure we do get this win, I'm bringing on Coquelin in midfield just to strengthen my midfield. Walcott's going to come on to hit them on the counter-attack. And Evans, I need to make sure he's getting appearances. Porto are not lying down and taking it. They're trying to get back in this game. And I tell you what, they're looking pretty good right now. And I just, I can't win headers. Whenever it gets cleared, I can't win headers. It really frustrates me that. Well, Porto are having all the possession, but they are quick. They're quickly running out of time. They've got two minutes of added time to try and get an equaliser here. Please win that. Yes, Bellerin, right. Theo Walcott, this is why I brought Theo on. Just run with it. Just completely outpace everyone. Look at him go. Oh, wow. Martin Zindi's done really well there. But that is the end of the game, guys. We're going top of our group in the Champions League. A fantastic performance. Only a 1-0 win. We just don't score enough goals. It, it's still an issue. But if you win a game, you can't really complain. So there we go. So after nine games, this is how the Premier League table is looking like. We're in sixth place after yet another draw with uh, Watford this time. So we've fallen out of the top five, but we're only four points behind top, which is Spurs. Now you're probably you're probably thinking there's a team missing there. Who could that be? Oh, the winners of the Premier League last year, Chelsea. They've drawn three and lost six. They haven't won a single game. They've conceded 13 goals. I mean, at this rate, oh my God, Liverpool as well. At this rate, Chelsea could be relegated in that type of form. I couldn't believe it when I saw it. But there you go, guys. That is the Premier League table for now. In the next episode, we've got Manchester City, who are down in 11th. So, technically, we should be winning that game based off uh, the form of the Premier League so far. But things can change very quick. Spurs were nowhere near the top a couple of games ago. And now they're top. Um, the only team not to have lost yet is Stoke City. I believe we've got a game coming up against them at some point. So... Hopefully we can end that run of theirs. But that is it for this episode. Thank you for watching, guys. Make sure you hit the like button if you have enjoyed it. Make sure you subscribe as well and never miss an episode. And I will see you in the next one very soon.